Remember when I said this? I'm gonna be there just in time to see Canada take on the States. Oh, it's gonna get rowdy. Now, was I right or was I right? Has anyone seen my voice? Canada defeats the USA 5-4 in the shootout in literally the most exciting game I've ever seen in my entire life. And I knew this was going to be a close game, but I was not ready for this. Just a couple minutes in, Stefan Della Rovere makes it 1-0 Canada. Wow, this is easier than I thought. Not so fast, Braden Shen takes a penalty and the States capitalize and they tie the game up. And the States special teams were something else tonight because not only did they get a power play goal, but they got a pair of shorties. Canada trails for the first time all tournament. That is until Jordan Eberle ties it up for Canada, the second returning member of the gold medal team last year to score. Then hold on to your hat, folks. The United States is awarded a penalty shot, and I don't think I've ever heard louder booing ever. Saskatoon, you guys know how to watch a hockey game, man. Luckily for Team Canada, Jake Allen is up to the task. He stops the penalty shot, and they can go into the third period with a tie game, right? Eh, wrong. The States score another shorthanded goal with about 11 seconds left in the second, and Canada heads into the third period down three to two. Canada comes out for the third period. The crowd is loud. They're losing their mind. Canada's gonna get this one back, right? Nope. The states score and Canada goes down by two goals in the third. Canada had a decision to make right then and there. Are they gonna sulk about it or are they gonna do something about it? Well, someone on the Team Canada bench must have said, aren't you Jordan Everly? And he goes in there and makes it four to three. Canada's within one. And the crowd goes wild. But a potential disaster strikes with less than five minutes left in the third. Jordan Eberle, Kid Clutch, takes a penalty and Canada is down a man. But knowing that the States had already scored two shorthanded goals this game, Alex Petrangelo said, anything you can do, I can do golder and scores a beautiful shorty top cheese. Canada ties it up. And the crowd goes wild again. I now have permanent hearing loss. What? And just moments after that, Travis Hamannick scored what appeared to be the go-ahead goal for Canada and the emotion in the Credit Union Center can only be described as... <laughs> But nay, it was not meant to be. The goal was disallowed. The game went to overtime. Overtime sold nothing. And it goes to the shootout. Brandon Cozen scores on his shootout attempt, and now it's all up to Jake Allen. Allen stops him, and the entire place goes ballistic. And you want to talk about grit. You want to talk about determination, hard work, and leadership. Canada showed all of those things tonight in the comeback win. Was that Canada's best game of the tournament? Of course not. They know that, and that makes the victory more impressive. They picked themselves back up and they beat the odds to win the game. Let me know what you think, guys, and I'm really excited to show you all the cool stuff we captured from this game. I can't wait. It's just amazing. Way to kick 2010 off with a bang, the Canadian way. <laughs>